Hi, and welcome to this session of Van and Sheridan's Video Legal Pad. I'm James Van, and we're going to talk about today acquisitions of businesses. You may be either trying to sell your business or buy another business, and we get calls quite often from clients saying, well, what do we do and how do we handle that? The first thing that you enter into would be a letter of intent with the company that's being purchased. And basically what that letter of intent does is it slows down the parties once they've been identified. It gives the buyer some time to have uh, exclusivity to look at that company for purchasing. But it also gives them a right of protection so that in case they change their mind they can back out and there's no liability on either side. Um, and a letter of intent, quite frankly, puts some terms and conditions in maybe early but it also gives the parties some due diligence about uh, having an opportunity or a chance to look at uh, that business and whether or not it really is a business that they want to purchase. So the letter of intent is the first document and if the company is a, a company that wants to be acquired and the uh, buyer wants to buy the company, the next step is entering into the terms and conditions for the purchase agreement. Well, the purchase agreement is a very long and, and can be a long and complex document, uh, but typically what it, it outlines is the timing of issues, when the closing will occur, the purchase price, how the purchase price will be paid, whether it's stock, payment, uh, are there any notes to be uh, included in that, as well as are there any escrow of funds, that is the, any funds to be held for taxes or any kind of uh, payments to the government or any other maybe customers that uh, the company is holding uh, funds or proceeds that are due to the customers. There can be a wide variety of escrow funds, possibly. Not always, but possibly. Those are a few issues that you deal with on the payment. Uh, also, you typically address limitations of liability on both sides. Who's going to be liable for what, uh, when that might be addressed. Uh, limitations of warranties. Who's going to warrant to the other side or to the other party uh, what conditions and terms and that is who would be liable in case something happens after the purchase. Um, certainly uh, other issues that you look to are indemnifications, that is will one party indemnify the other uh, on or before or after the closing date. Those are typically the issues you look to um, in the purchase agreement and it also addresses what happens post-closing, that is how will the parties interact with each other post-closing. Going through a purchase agreement, quite frankly, can be very complex. We suggest that you certainly use your CPA, your attorney, and other professionals around you to help you when you're making that acquisition or you're selling your business. Hopefully today's uh, video legal pad has been helpful to you. If you have questions, please feel free to give us a call.